Hello everybody, welcome back to your Common Game. Today, something a little different. It is, what is today? December 22nd, and we find ourselves in an incredibly busy time of the year. I just tried to record uh, 631. <clears throat> Had uh, issues that I didn't know about till it was done. Anyway, it's whatever. I redo it. I've done a million of them. But I wanted to do a couple things. Um... Number one, I wanted to look at uh, my goals for 2020 and see if I met them. Spoiler, I didn't. But <laughs> uh, on uh, New Year's Eve of last year, I did a New Year's resolution thing. Of course, I normally don't ever do that because, you know, that's one way to disappoint yourself. But anyway... Uh, <clears throat> I wanted to get through 200 decks in 2020. As it turns out, a little bit's happened over the past year. So I didn't get uh, 200 decks done. I only got 119 done. So uh, that's, what does that average? A deck every three days-ish, kind of. Now, there's a lot, I mean, y'all know what it takes to build an EDH deck. I, I'm not, we've all, it, I'm assuming by the time you found this channel, you have, you know, at least built one. So, but the extra steps from there is build the deck. Of course, now, keep in mind, 2020, we've been in information overload, whether it be the outside world or just inside of commander because we've had a flood of stuff not complaining it's been good but it's been drinking from the fire hose uh, <laughs> but uh so i've got i don't know like 80 decks right here that are partial you know, that I've started and, you know, waiting on cards in the mail and waiting on ideas to be inspired or waiting on time. Time's the big deal. Um, but I build the deck. Of course, I sleeve it as I build it because that's how I build. I, I have, uh, you know, 100 sleeves and those are my slots. And then I build it. I, I go to Architect and I list it. And then I've got to film it. So I film it and show it. And then I upload it, of course, schedule it. Uh, sometimes I'll, I will schedule it. I like to schedule for odd number of days. Um, every other day seems, you know, seems doable. Uh, every day, man, that's rough. That's rough. Like I tried to keep it up. Um, there have been times I could, times I can't. Uh, but this time of the year is exceedingly hard also i wanted to go on an lgs tour in 2020 and outside <laughs> extenuating circumstances made that not happen uh i'm laughing i know it's not funny uh, but it's uh outside of the world of magic it's been a difficult year now as you know i work in retail and, uh, you know, this is, this is a crazy busy time of the year. And then right after the holiday, you've got inventory and year end. So I want to come on here and tell you, so, so you wouldn't be looking for me for the next week. Um, I am, I will see y'all back on January one. Um, that's when all the craziness dies down and we can get back to, you know, putting cardboard in sleeves. <laughs> Uh, a lot of times when I, uh, uh, when people ask me about either a, a hobby or they find out I have a YouTube channel or whatever, and they ask me, what's your YouTube channel about? And I tell them, I talk about a children's card game or, Hey, what's your hobby? I put cardboard into plastic sleeves. <laughs> <laughs> grossly oversimplifying I know but uh yeah yeah so 
it's not that I am taking the rest of the year off because uh, I am constantly deck building. My mind constantly works. You know, I can steal away minutes here and there to to build and throw card throw cards in cardboard or in in sleeves. Um, but it takes a dedicated block off amount of time to record and upload and things like that. So uh, I'm going to try to, you know, rest first and foremost <laughs> and deck build. And, and uh, so I've got 631 that I tried to do today, but, you know, <laughs> what can you do? Try again. That's what we can do. Uh, but... I hope everybody has a wonderful holiday season, whichever holidays that you have. And, uh, yeah, yeah, I think that's about it. Um, yep. Wow, did I, like, actually run out of stuff to talk about? Wow. <laughs> <clears throat> maybe uh, maybe we come back on the first we'll know a little more about call time um, I think we all want it to be snow so bad but especially me I want it to be snow so bad but it, uh, I don't at this point I'm beginning to think it's not uh, now granted as I said December 22nd time will tell Today we may get a card that's snow matters. Who knows? But it looks like to me that we have too many cards previewed right now. We've seen too many cards, and none of them are snow. So that makes me think. It makes me think that if snow was coming back, they'd be loud and proud. I just want snow to be done correctly. I don't think snow has ever been done correctly. Uh, not in because we've only had snow four in four sets Ice Age, Alliances, Cold Snap, and the MH1. And Ice Age introduced the mechanic, but it was mostly a joke. Um, there were more downsides to playing it than there were upsides. Uh, Alliances was more of the same, Cold Snap was more of the same, maybe a little bit. MH1 helped a little bit, but on that one artifact, they went way too far. Uh, but something. If they could give Snow the design, uh, the modern design opportunities that everything else has had, I think it'd be a great mechanic. And, you know, I just love Snow. Uh, I remember watching David Copperfield perform Snow. Uh, on It was on TV, but... Uh, it's a beautiful, beautiful thing. Um, and it's actually kind of a Christmas theme, so. But, uh, I, I've, uh, I've been listening to all the year-end shows, and, and uh, EDH Rec has got a good one with Olivia. Um, yeah, but I'm not going to review favorite cards or decks or anything, because, you know, I'm a magic player. I like them all. <laughs> But that being said, I got to go to work. Y'all take care, and we'll see you next year.